welcome today i'm going to show you all the traditional way and how to make jerk marinade because lots of people been wondering and i see lots of people get confused with spice and hot i am a product of jamaica as you can see i have lots of pepper on the table but i'm going to show you what i'm going to do with the pepper because this is what make the, the jerk hot we're not talking about that we're talking about spices so here is my main spice that i'm going to use for this jerk marinade i have some green onion and some people know this as scallion piece of ginger fresh onion and i have fresh thyme and i have some oregano lots of people know this as french thyme so um, these are what gonna give that jerk marinade. This is the green season part. And then over here, I have garlic, pimento, and this is the main part of what we're gonna use to add spice flavor. I have jerk season, season salt, meat season, and we have onion powder. And for coloring, we're gonna add browning. On my blender, and I have four cups of water. This is what we're gonna add to the blender to blend out our marinade, like our green seasoning. And the reason why I choose to do this video, I see lots of people talking about, oh, I go and I buy jerk chicken, and jerk chicken is spicy. No, the jerk chicken is hot. We're gonna cut up these pepper last, so I'm gonna move them from the cutting board. So let's get straight on into the video. I'm gonna start by adding some season into this bowl because I'm making a dry rub and I'm gonna make the wet rub because I have chicken to season as well. You guys can check out the season list. I will just call them out as I go. And we're gonna use a tablespoon of all of these season. So first, season salt. Onion powder, meat season, and the Jamaican jerk seasoning. And now we have our season mix. We're just gonna mix it out a bit, just to get it blended. Now I get it the season mix, so I'm just gonna set it out of the way. Now we're gonna add some pimento grain because this is the main ingredients. Two tablespoons of pimento grains. Now I'm gonna get the blender set up. So I'm gonna add my four cups of water into the blender. Now I'm gonna get my onion and we're gonna make the marinade. And this is the traditional way and how to make marinade and this is the best recipe. So first we're gonna start out by cutting up the onion. And you don't wanna cut up the onion too fine, you just wanna just make some cuts because we blend it up anyway. Just into some small bits so the blender can angle it. And if you can use a food processor as well. So we're just gonna do the same with the garlic. Then we're just gonna make some chops in our in our thyme. Just just quick and fast and plain simple. Same with the original French thyme, just like that. And with our scallion, aka green onion, just some nice chops to it. Ginger, same. Only a chef can do that fast. And you only learn that from Chef Henry. And for the peppers, I'm gonna take off these tips. Now I get all the tips of the pepper, the stem, pick off the pepper. I'm gonna just set them right here, make them sit. 
So I'm gonna add my chop up onion, thyme, and my original with my garlic. I'm just gonna add them straight into the blender. Now I'm gonna add my pimento. All of it. And remember with the seasoning, we measure it out. So now I'm gonna add half of it into the blender. And then I'm gonna add some browning. And we're using a tablespoon. And this is where you're gonna add browning to get the color. You're just gonna add a tablespoon. And then you, and if you need more browning, you can always add. Now I'm gonna close the blender. Now I'm gonna turn on my blender. So I press the power button in this blender, it's very complicated, but if you have one, it's pretty good. So now I'm gonna choose the settings. So I'm gonna start out with a low slip settings. Now I'm gonna check and see our consistency and see if we get the right color. Now we're gonna move over to our peppers. So I'm just gonna rest the lid on the blender to keep that nice seasoned goodness into the blender. Time to cut up the peppers and we are making jerk marinade. So first we're gonna grab the peppers and we're just gonna set them out on the cutting board. I'm just showing you guys the difference, these peppers. So now I'm gonna cut up the pepper. And in this jar right here, I have one cup of vinegar. So I'm just gonna cut my peppers in half, just like this. And these are all scotch bonnet peppers. Hey Chef Henry, what's the spiciest part of the peppers? The seeds. You want to get all of the peppers cut up, just like what I'm doing. Now I have all the peppers cut up. I'm going to bring back the jar. And I'm gonna add all of the peppers into this jar right here with the vinegar. You get all the seeds and every goodness inside there. And you're gonna use your knife and you're just gonna push down on the peppers. And then I'm gonna place the lid on. And I'm gonna shake it. Then I'm just gonna set that out of the way and make it sit. Time to add season to the chicken. I have the chicken already clean and washed and you guys should know from the countless of video, I show you guys how to clean the chicken so I don't have to show you to make it be boring. So now we're gonna add the rest of seasoning we split in half and we're just gonna pour it on the chicken. And then we're gonna go in, in a caressing style. It's like, you know, cheating a lady. Be nice and gentle, and just to get the chicken in the right spot, to, to get that season soaked into that chicken. And you wanna get the season in all corner of the chicken. And all of my subscribers and all of my viewers, please stay tuned and watch the vid video to the end. Because I'm gonna make jerk some jerk chicken from this marinade that I make and show you. And then I'm gonna show you guys what I'm gonna do with the peppers. You guys gonna see the outcome with those peppers. 
So now I get all that spice and seasoned goodness in the chicken and oh my God, I can tell this chicken feel good when I finish massage the chicken. Now I'm gonna add some of the marinade. That's the wet rub. I'm gonna add it to the chicken. So you just wanna pour it straight from the blender right in over that chicken. And try to get all of that green seasoning inside here as well. Just like that. And we're gonna do the same thing just to make that chicken soak in this marinade sauce that we put on the chicken. Then you're gonna let the chicken sit in into the marinade sauce for 24 hours. I set the chicken that I seasoned already and I tell you to put it down for 24 hours. I do have some chicken in my fridge that I already seasoned because I know I'm gonna use it for this video. But it's very snowy outside and we cannot light that barbecue. We're gonna turn to our oven. I have the oven preheated at 350 degrees. I'm gonna use this wonderful tray that I bought and it's pretty good because I like the setup. It's also a baking pan and also a grill. You can grill in here. So this is nice to make that jerk chicken because now I can get the chicken, I can avoid it sticking and I have that grill to stamp my chicken with that nice barbecue grill and I can get all of that flavor back up into the chicken. So I go ahead and I wrap it with tin then foil. I'm gonna add my chicken and I'm gonna go piece by piece. Oh my God. And I can smell that seasoned goodness. You don't have to worry about the drainage of your chicken. You don't have to worry if they drain off, but that season and that marinade that go on the grill, it's also gonna go up back into the chicken. So I'm gonna put my final piece of chicken on this grill. I'm just gonna move these around just so it doesn't look overcrowded. Everybody have space because you need space in cooking if the chicken social distance. So nice little social distance right there. You don't go close, just stay apart because you're gonna be cooked. I mean, you're gonna be tasting nice. Now I'm gonna add the chicken into the oven because we are jerking this chicken inside the oven. So I'm gonna open my oven and I'm gonna slide in my chicken. And we are going top shelf. And then we're gonna keep on checking the chicken because I have to make a sauce to coat that chicken inside the oven and flip them over. So just stay tuned and always remember to watch that video to the end. Meanwhile, the chicken is inside the oven. I'm gonna use the marinade sauce and I'm gonna make the sauce to coat the chicken inside the oven. So you don't wanna add juice or sauce because this is what you use to season the chicken. You wanna boil it because that chicken is cooking inside the oven. So we're just gonna boil it, so we're just gonna keep stirring it a bit. You don't want anything to settle in the bottom. Then I'm gonna place the lid on and let it cook. Now that we make our marinade cook, so now it's safe to apply to the chicken because we don't want the cross contamination. So I'm gonna shut my stove off. I'm gonna let this cool down. So I'm gonna show you guys when I'm coating the chicken with this marinade right here. Now I'm gonna check on my jerk chicken. I'm gonna open the oven and I'm gonna dip them. I'm gonna grab my oven mitts. Just like how I do it on the barbecue, I'm just gonna pick up the chicken and I'm gonna dip it inside the marinated sauce and just add it straight back to the grill. So 
So you put it in, turn it over, and get it coated on both sides. And the reason why we started from the top grill first, remember we leave the skin on the chicken. So you wanna start from high, then work yourself down to the lower part of the oven, just to get that skin stay on to the chicken. I'm gonna just get my chicken inside the oven, and then I'm gonna come back and check in the next 10 minutes. Now I'm gonna check on my chicken. I'm gonna dip them again. You want to get both sides coated and just place it back on the grill. And this is the final coat. Now I'm gonna make a jerk in the oven for another 20 minutes. Now I'm gonna do the final check on the chicken and everything is looking good. And my chicken is finished jerking in the oven and check it out. I'm gonna take them out and I'm gonna show you guys the chicken. Now I take my jerk chicken out of the oven and I have it on my cutting board and check it out I'm gonna cut into it nice oven jerk chicken and I'm just gonna put this on a plate If you don't understand, check out the jerk man. And I'm gonna try a piece. I'm just gonna go inside it and it cook all the way through. Woo! And because I love pepper, I show you guys early on when I cut up the peppers. This is how jerk chicken should be made. You season the chicken, which is the season, is the spice and goodness, and you make a chicken absorb all of that seasoning. If somebody come to your restaurant or come to your house and you make jerk chicken, they should be have no problem going like this. Yeah, the chicken is good. Oh, it's not burning my mouth. And if somebody come over to your house and he likes spice, just hand him the bottle. And I have tons of them. But this one was freshly made and it have to sit for 24 hours and never get to sit. The chicken get to sit. So I'm gonna add some spice to a piece of chicken. I have pepper sauce. Then I'm gonna go back in and I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna take the piece where I had the, the pepper too. Oh, that's hot. Mm. That's spicy. This is just an example. This is all Jamaican jerk chicken marinade, and Jamaican jerk chicken should always taste like. You don't serve people pepper chicken, and then you said, oh. It's jerk chicken. And then when the product of Jamaica, that's me, come and buy that chicken, I'm gonna be like, oh, this is not jerk chicken. But people, get, get, get a grip now. Sell Jamaica the right way. Just like what I'm doing right here. And everybody should watch this video, enjoy this video, and start making jerk chicken, and get back 
your chicken on the market. And everything is looking good. And guys, I'm telling you, this jerk chicken was just a test to make the marinade sauce to show you guys and how to make Jamaican marinade. And I just make some chicken in the oven because outside is cold and I can't go outside to light the barbecue. So I make it in the oven. And this is Jamaican jerk chicken. So check out the marinade recipe. And that's the authentic Jamaican marinade recipe. No spice, stop sell at food to people. And remember, if you don't understand about the jerk chicken, check out the jerk man. I'm right here, Chef Henry, telling you guys, thanks for watching.